in Uniswap B3, the average price of a token, let's say token B over token A, from time TK to TN is calculated by taking 1.0001 to the tick average, where the tick average is equal to the time weighted average of each tick per second. Stick around and find out how we derive this equation. Let's say that the price of token B in terms of token A at time I is equal to P of I. In Uniswap B3, this price is represented as 1.0001 to the tick of I. As a side note, recall from the previous video that we can derive the price of a token by dividing the amount of tokens in the pool. So if you know the virtual reserves of token B at time I and the virtual reserves of token A at time I, then we can do Y divided by X to get this price. However, in Uniswap B3, these virtual reserves are not tracked. There's no variables inside the contract that stores these values. Instead, Uniswap B3 tracks the price and the liquidity, and these two imply the virtual reserves. So the virtual reserves are not tracked inside the Uniswap B3 contract. However, this tick that is used to compute the current price is tracked in Uniswap B3. So that's just a side note. And how the price and liquidities are computed is a topic for another video. So let's see an example of how P of I is equal to 1.0001 to the tick. Let's say inside a die ETH pool, 3000 die is worth 1 ETH. P is equal to 3000 and this is equal to 1.0001 raised to the power of 80,067. Now if you pull up the calculator and compute this number, this will turn out to be 2999 and 9999. So there are some rounding errors. Anyways, this 80,067 is the tick that will give us 3,000. Now that we know how the price is represented in Uniswap B3, let's now take a look at how the time-weighted average price is calculated in Uniswap B3. Imagine that price of token B is PK at TK, and at time TK plus 1, it spikes up to P to the K plus 1. At time equals T to the K plus 2, the price of token B is P to the K plus 2 and so on all the way up to P to the N. In Uniswap B2, the way we calculate the time weighted average price is by taking the price, multiplied by the duration, summing them all up, and then dividing it by the whole duration. Now to actually calculate the time weighted average price in Uniswap B2, instead of adding all of these numbers up, there is a shortcut. We'll define a function S of P of N to be equal to the summation from time i equals 0 all the way up to time n minus 1, multiplying the price at i for the duration from t to the i to t to the i plus 1, and then adding all of these up. To simply put it, we're adding all the price times the duration. This equation is similar to this equation above. The only difference is, is that we start from time i equals 0. This is called the price cumulative, and you'll see a variable inside Uniswap B2 that keeps track of this number. Now to get the time weighted average price, you will get the price cumulative at time t equals n, minus the price cumulative at time t equals k, and then divided by the duration of the time, t to the n minus t to the k. This will be a single variable, and this will also be a single variable. So this equation is a very efficient way to calculate the time weighted average price. Whereas over here, you will have to perform multiple additions, over here, it is just one single subtraction. So this is how you calculate time weighted average price in Uniswap B2. In Uniswap B3, we do something very similar to calculate the time weighted average tick. So in Uniswap B3, to calculate the time weighted average tick, the first thing that we'll do is compute the tick for each price. At P of K, we compute the T of K. At P of K plus 1, we compute the T of K plus 1 and so on all the way up to p to the m minus 1. To get the time weighted average tick, we can do something very similar to what we did with Uniswap B2. So we'll take this equation that calculates the time weighted average price, and then paste it here. And all we have to do to get the time weighted average tick is replace the price with the tick. Likewise, in Uniswap B2, we don't actually use this equation to calculate the time weighted average price. Instead, we use this formula. So we can apply a similar trick for Uniswap B3 too. So the first thing that I'll do is copy this equation and then paste it here. 
First, I'll rename s of t of n to be s of t of n, t standing for tick. So a function, summation of ticks up to time t equals n. Instead of storing the price cumulated, this will store the tick cumulated. And like what we did over here, we will replace the p with the tick. And instead of getting the price average, we will get the tick average. So the tick average is equal to s sub t of n minus s sub t of k divided by the duration t of n minus t of k. So this equation is very similar to Uniswap B2. Once we have the time weighted average tick, we can get the average price by raising 1.0001 to the tick average. So the average price is equal to 1.0001 to the tick average. And that is how you get the time weighted average price in Uniswap B3. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's say that at t equals zero, the price of token B is 3,000. At t equals five, it is 4,000. t equals nine, 1,000. And at t equals 10, it is back to 3,000. And over here, I've already used the calculator to compute the ticks. Let's compute the time weighted average price in Uniswap B2 and then Uniswap B3. So in Uniswap B2, the time weighted average price, the first term is 3000 multiplied by the duration from 0 seconds to 5 seconds. So that will be 5 minus 0 plus the next price, 4000 times the duration. The duration goes from 5 to 9 seconds. So that will be 9 minus 5 plus 1,000 from the duration 9 to 10. So that will be 1,000 times 10 minus 9. This will be over the whole duration of 10 seconds, 10 minus 0. So that will be 10 minus 0. And this is equal to 3,000 times 5. So that will be 15,000 plus 4,000 times 4. So that will be 16,000 plus 1,000 times 1, which will be 1,000, divided by the duration of 10 seconds. And I'll use a calculator to get that the price average in Uniswap B2 is 3,200. Let's do the same example in Uniswap B3. First, we'll need to get the tick average. And recall from the discussion over here that all we have to do is re replace the price with the tick. So what we'll do over here is we'll copy this expression and then paste it here and then replace these prices with the ticks. The first tick is 80,067. The second tick is 82,944. And the third and last tick is 69,081. The duration does not change. And using my calculator, I get that the average tick is equal to 80,119. The average price is equal to 1.0001 raised to this tick average, which is equal to 80,119. Using my calculator, this turns out to be 3,015. Notice that although we use the same prices, we get a different price average between Uniswap B2 and Uniswap B3. In B2, we got 3,200. However, in B3, we get 3,015. The reason why we get different average prices is because in Uniswap B2, it is using arithmetic mean to calculate the average price. Whereas in Uniswap B3, it is using the geometric mean to calculate the average price. What's the difference between arithmetic and geometric mean? That'll be a topic for another video.